Hello, Jess Too Good here. Today we're taking a look at the Lego Star Wars Rebel A-Wing Starfighter with 62 pieces, two minifigures, and it retails for $15 in the United States. Ashton Flash sent this to me early, and for those wondering what happened to the top 10 due tonight, well, it's going to be released tomorrow morning, so stay tuned for that on the channel around 11 a.m. And for those who are wondering about updates and such, check out my Twitter, okay? Go follow me on Twitter. It's linked in the description. That's usually where I post video updates right away. So this is the A-Wing pilot, and this is the same version from that 2017 A-Wing, which was like a $40 set, so it's nice to see it in a cheaper set because I really like this design. He uses a basic green, he has a little pistol right there, and his helmet is very detailed, just with all the different colorings all around and printing. I love how that came out. It's a very nice piece, and he does not have any back facial printing. We also have C-3PO, which this design does come in a lot of other sets. Heck, even a Micro Fighters from this wave. It's not terrible. I just wish there was arm inside leg printing. Like, they had this Force Awakens C-3PO, which was one of the best promotional figures from Star Wars, in my opinion, because it had printing all around. And I thought, hey, you know, they're going to start doing that with C-3PO. But nope, that was released in 2015, and now we're in 2019 with still no side arm or leg side printing. As for the two builds of the set, the first build is this A-Wing Starfighter, and the design of this is so adorable. It reminds me of some of the older A-Wing Starfighters, but it's even simpler and smaller than that. I think this might be the best of the Junior Star Wars vehicles because it is very sleek still. It still looks exactly what it's trying to represent. It just uses a lot less pieces than complex builds. There's a nice printed part up front here. There's a cockpit that you could easily open and sits one minifigure inside. There's also a printed 1x2, which isn't exclusive to the set, but you do have these nice new printed pieces as well because Juniors does not use any stickered pieces. I also like this round part at the back of the cockpit. I like the little engines at the back, or sorry, the thrusters at the back. And the whole base is a new piece I haven't seen before. I'm sure they're going to use it for that Lego movie Junior set and probably even the X-Wing set, but it's a very interesting base. I guess they haven't done Junior's spaceships and such before, so it's welcome to get that. There's no play feature or anything, but there are these imaginary blasters at the side. They don't really blast anything, but they still just kind of sit there. The side build seems to be a part of the Yavin 4 Rebel base, which, gosh, just give me a full-size version of that base. Don't give me a little part that's just a, a small wall of it. I'm kidding. I mean, it is a nice little addition to the set, and it's a good way to get this piece in tan, which is not common. But uh, yeah, I just really want a full version of it. We have a 1x4 printed piece and even some tools at the front. And it just kind of lays on the side. Here's the box for the set and the back, which shows how it's a perfect start. And the instructions are pretty short with an ad for the Star Wars sets at the back for the January wave. So overall, the Rebel A-Wing set, I could see appealing to a lot of older fans because it doesn't seem like they compromise anything besides the size. They just shrunk it down, made it a little bit more TV and adorable, but it still looks like an A-Wing and it, I don't see anything wrong with the build in general. The side build is whatever, it's just an addition and I like how they give you at least a playset-like build and a vehicle-like build, no matter how small the playset-like build is. I just wish the minifigures were a little bit more interesting. I mean, a lot of people buy Star Wars sets for the builds and the minifigures, so we always expect to get some interesting figures here or there, but these are just reprints. I mean, I guess the A-Wing pilot is a little bit more uncommon, but still. And I do like the idea that they're having more of these $15 Star Wars sets. While this one should have probably been $10 over $15, it still feels like it's worth some of the value there because you get an interesting vehicle at least, which is something you can't find with those battle packs. So I'd rate this one a B. I think it is a cute little set with some interesting pieces and just an interesting interpretation of a vehicle we've gotten a thousand times on LEGO before to just spice things up a little bit. So that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.